In this video, I'm going to show you how to check that the LinkedIn's that Rocker Reach's bulk feature found are actually accurate so that we can use the information they give us when we're finishing our cases. So I'll show you exactly what I mean. When, Re when Rocket Reach excuse me, does a bulk run, it takes the information that we have on the spreadsheet, namely the company name, the CEO name, and the state, and it finds a LinkedIn that it thinks matches those details. And then it'll give us these notes of where the location is of the LinkedIn, the LinkedIn link, and any emails and phone numbers that Rocket Reach may be able to find. What we're going to do is we're going to check the company name and state that we have against what LinkedIn has. And if it's correct, we'll work with it. If it's not correct, we'll delete it and move on for later. The reason that we do this is so that if there are any LinkedIn's that Rocket Reach gave us that aren't good, we can later have them fix that for us. Okay, so let's begin. Let's take a look at this first one that we have, Alvin Krantz Painting Inc. The CEO's name is Alvin Krantz, and the state is Tennessee. So what we'll do is we'll look at the LinkedIn link, and we'll compare the information we just read to what we have here. So the guy's name is Alvin Krantz. He's the owner of Alvin Krantz Painting, and he's in Tennessee. That is correct. So let's mark it good. The next thing that we need to do once we have a good LinkedIn is make sure that the email that it gave us is valid. Since zero bounce is the peak of, of uh, validation technology. That's what we want to use. So we're going to validate the email just to make sure it's good. And it comes back valid. Good. Now this is essentially what you have to do to make sure if the LinkedIn is good or not. You don't have to finish the entire case right now, meaning Google, find website, find phone numbers, etc. fast people search. However, since we are already on their LinkedIn page, we can very quickly check if to see if there's any extra phone numbers or a website. So let's do that real quick just to save some time for later. So first we'll cl click the contact info and we don't see any website. Next we go to Rocket Reach, we don't see any phone number. Okay, so we're done with this one. We, val we validated the email, we checked that the LinkedIn was good. I'll just mark it green just so it's easier to keep track of where I am. Let's do another one. Where's Giant Tire Service? You can also see that some of these have a DBA listed with them. So where's tire service, where's giant tire service, we're looking for one of those. With a CEO name of Alan Ware and the state Texas. So let's check. Okay, now it says the right guy, it says Texas and it says WGTS, which is probably where's giant tire service. Let's scroll down and double check. WTS, where's giant tire service? Okay, so you see sometimes you actually have to scroll down to their experience to find if they are employed at the right place or if they own the right place, and they do. This guy does. So let's mark that good. And while we're on his LinkedIn, we'll also check to see if he has a website or a phone number. No website in this case. Check Rocket Reach, and no additional phone number in this case, which is fine. So we marked it good, and let's move on to the next one. Let's check another one. So in this case, the company is Daryl Laney. Now we know that Daryl Laney is actually the name of the guy. We can see that here. And so we need to check and see if there's a DBA that has the actual name of the company. In this case, we can see that it's Laney Chiropractic Center. So we're going to look for Laney Chiropractic Center. Daryl Laney, and Texas, okay? So when you get something like just someone's name here, always check to see if there's a DBA that it says something different. Okay, so we see it's Daryl Laney in Dallas-Fort Worth, which is in Texas. And we can see if we scroll down, Laney Chiropractic and Sports. Okay, so this is the right guy. Let's mark this as good. Let's also check that his email is valid while we're here. Okay, it comes back with a valid result. Lastly, let's just see if he has a website or a phone number on his LinkedIn. Let's start with C contact info. Okay, he has two websites. 
And the name of the company we're looking for is Laney Chiropractic, so that's the website we'll check out. And we can see that it's a working website. Since it was on his LinkedIn, we can stick with it. We don't really need to check the address or the phone number. Just stick that right in there as long as the website works. And let's see if he has another phone number that we can get from him as well. As you can see, LinkedIn has a phone number that didn't get imported. So let's just copy that and pop it on in there. Okay, good. Another case done. Let's do just a couple more. Open Market Enterprises. Okay, we can see this also has a DBA, Communicate 360. So we'll have to keep an eye out for either of those names. The CEO is Ana Torres and the state is Florida. So let's open this. Can exit out of this. Okay, we can already see a red flag. She's in Portugal, which is most definitely not Florida. Though it is the same name, which is probably why Rocket Reach used it. Let's just double check to make sure that she doesn't work for Communications 360. Mm, nope. Nope. Okay, so this is an incorrect LinkedIn. So since this LinkedIn that Rocket Reach found does not match the details that we have, we're going to mark it bad. In addition, since it's bad, these emails are not useful, so we're going to delete the emails. If there was a phone number, you would delete that as well. And it's marked as bad. Okay. The color that you mark it doesn't really matter. I just like to mark everything in green to keep track. You can mark bads in, in yellow if you want. It's fine, whatever works for you. Okay, let's check just two more. So Craig Smith DDS and his DBA is a reason to smile. Now we can see that it already is telling us that it's in California, what it found, but our um, details say that he's in Idaho. So let's take a look. Maybe he moved to Idaho or maybe he moved to California since he was in Idaho. Okay, so we have the right guy. We have the right business name but it's not in Los Angeles. So at this point, you have to make a judgment call. It's not always going to be so clear. Uh, our records state that he's in Idaho and that the business name is A Reason to Smile. Now, here he's not in Idaho, and we don't see that anything that says A Reason to Smile. He also doesn't have a phone number or a website that we could double check on our sheet with. So in this case, because we're unsure, we're going to mark it bad. And we're going to move on. Okay. Now, with this last one, what we're going to do is I'm going to manufacture that that is, uh, we're going to pretend that this is uh, not a valid email. Okay, so let's check this one out. Metter Environmental, Christopher Metter in Florida. Okay, let's go look at this. Chris Metter, Florida, Metter Environmental. Excellent, so we know that this is the right LinkedIn, so we're gonna mark it good. Now the next thing we're gonna do is double check his email. The email comes back invalid. So if we get an invalid email, but the LinkedIn is good, we leave it as good, that's fine, but we're gonna delete the email anyways because it's not usable. Let's also just double check his LinkedIn to see if there's a website or a phone number we can use. There is a website, let's check it out. Meta Environmental, the website works. Excellent. So we'll take that website and we'll put it in. And let's check him for a phone number as well. There is no phone number, okay. So let's mark this green. So later on, after the checking of the bulk LinkedIn's is finished, you would come back and you would finish looking for any correct emails that he had and any phone numbers that he had. But there's no need to finish that at this time. We just take the information that's readily available and the main job is checking whether the LinkedIn's are good or bad and whether the emails are valid or not. If you have any questions, you can always let me know. Um, and again, occasionally, like with the Craig Smith dentist, you're just going to have to use your better judgment and decide whether or not 
someone is actually using the correct LinkedIn or if it's an incorrect find.